the Houston Oilers at the Pittsburgh Steelers. You think it was cold in Cleveland? How about wind chill at 25 below in Pittsburgh today? And you know the Oilers don't like to play on the road when it's 80 degrees. What about this? Mike Rozier with a fat bat. Steelers recover. Jerry Glanville has seen this on the road all too many times. Leads to a Gary Anderson field goal. The Steelers lit it 3 to nothing. Tough day to hold on to the ball. They got the Zamboni out to help on this field. Tracy Johnson on the kick return for the Oilers. And a pretty nice return in the slop until he fumbles it. Richard Smith tells Johnson, don't you fumble again, or something like that. Bubby trying to keep warm, but the wind just too harsh as the ball gets blown away on Brister's pass. So the Steelers figure, let's try a trick play. And Axe's favorite, Merrill Hodge, not Bubby, gets the snap and goes for 15 yards, looking for a 100-yard day. More stuff up Bubby's sleeves. The reverse in the slot to Lewis Lips. Lips will pick up 11 yards before he's twisted down at the 20 yard line. Two plays later. Let's run that again. We like the way that looks. Lips wiggles down to the five. Setting up a touchdown. 10 nothing Steelers looking for the upset. Temperatures dropping and the Steelers trying to warm up. Warren Moon reached way back. And it was Edmonton Eskimos' bag of tricks. And late in the first half, hit Curtis Duncan for 18 yards to make it 10-7. And then, with time running out in the first half, the beautiful catch by Drew Hill. So two clutch late first half touchdown passes by Moon have the Oilers up 14-10. to Very quickly, they try and clean this field. <laughs> Got to get this guy to do our driveway. Steeler driving. Tim Worley busts it open. His first 100-yard day as a pro. This set up a field goal which put the Steelers within 14, 13, 103 yards on the day and 18 carries for Worley. And soon Houston, wow, the fingers were cold. Moon fumbles the snap, the Steelers recover. Guy with a big game today for Houston was Lorenzo White, but he fumbles it, Pittsburgh recovers. And then after uh, the Oilers get the ball back, Moon fumbles another snap, where is this? Houston does recover. Eventually, Glanville could kind of read through the snow and have him drive, but Moon, they set up a Zendejas field goal, which is no good. Seven fumbles today for the Oilers. They lost three of them. Steelers down 16-13. Chuck Noll uses what else? The reverse to Lewis Lips. Fourth one they call today. This sets up a chip shot field goal by Gary Anderson. We're tied at 16 late in the fourth quarter. On the kickoff, the snow plow comes out. And, you know, we've seen this in New England. Glenville not happy. But Moon says, all right, now, Haywood Jeffries, is he in or out? They look at the replay. Where's the line? One day, it's snowy, uh, replay inconclusive. And so the Oilers keep the ball on the Renzo White, who had 115 yards today with the touchdown. And the Oilers scored twice in the last two minutes of the first half, once in the last minute of the game. A game that may ultimately lead to the AFC Central title because they have two of their last three at home to the Oilers as they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 23-16. to 16, 15 times now following a loss of their last 16. The Oilers have come up with a win. Clutch playing and a clutch job by the Bengals. As everyone is in this race. 100-yard rushers, 3 out of 5 won their games today if they ran for 100 yards. 300-yard passers on week 13 in the afternoon. Both guys who threw for that number... We're winners. We'll be back.